Hi all, this is my new edition which I'm very excited about. Um, it's the first time I'm going to be using it tonight. It's Mead's new LX65 um, SCT in 8 inch. Um, it's a fantastic little scope, very light. What I'm really impressed about is the tripod legs are very, very heavy duty. Um, living on a farm with uneven, uneven ground, I've used a spirit level just to make sure it's nice and flush. But as you can see, um, it comes in, you can actually break it down into three different parts. The tube itself, uh, the single fork mount, and the legs, so it's easy, easy to transfer. It's obviously a go-to. The nice little features about it is on the other side of it, you can mount either um, seven pounds, so three and a half kilo um, scope, but just for hell of it, I'm just putting my finder scope on at the moment, which is tuned in beautifully. So I've got the red dot finder, just giving the ballpark figure, and the actual tube, uh, the finder scope itself, um, which is tuned pretty well on a telegraph pole, way, way up on the hill up there. <laughs> so just have a walk around, you've got the points on it as well. Uh, you've just got the hand piece, the power, two auxiliary and a 12 volt. It runs off also, uh, what is it, 246 C size batteries that go in just there. The scope itself is actually very, very nice with Mead's um, ultra high transmission um, front lens as well. I can't really say how it works at the moment because I've never used it, I only unboxed it last night. So, very, very, very nice scope. This stage, very, very happy with it. Um, also, what's good about it is you can balance it really, really easy too. So, if I actually get that knob and just basically pull it towards me, I can move it up and down. I'm not going to do that now because I've got it balanced on even and facing magnetic north. And I'm not going to change that because it took me a while to get it right. And here's hoping for some clear skies. Last night we had a flash flood. So that hill up there turned into a river and lucky our house is up on stilts. So it went under the house and came down in the paddock here as you can see. It's been washed away and but lucky. We're in the middle of a drought and all our dams are filled at the moment. So sky doesn't look too bad at the moment. Hopefully it's going to clear up a bit and be able to get some nice visuals. Just have a look. Later on once I hook up um, my ZW camera and catch some actual footage I'll um, do a small video on how it worked and what it looks like basically. But anyway, here's hoping for clear skies.